وأردة تورام إضافة كبيرة للفريق لأن فيدال نقول الفريق صبر عليهم كثير مثل ما صبر على سواريز وأعتقد أن هناك منافسة باش تكون بينه وبين اللاعب ألفيز وأردة تورام مع راكاتيتشو هنا المنافسة الشريفة تزيد تحسن المستوى الفريق خصوصا من الناحية الدفاعية شاهدنا أردة تورام الدور الدفاعي اللي قام به في وسط الميدان الهجمة السريعة والاقتراب من الوراء ربما المباراة كانت صعبة أمام إسبانيا صحيح رغم أن هناك اندفاع بدني نعم. ولاعب عنده خمسة شهور مات لأن أصبح لويس هنيك عنده خيارات ما ننساش كذلك عودة إنييستا إلى مستواه نعم. يعني شفنا روبرتو أحد أفضل اللاعب المهمة في هذا الموسم I don't think it's any secret who's going to hold the majority of possession in this yeah. match. Granada, though, a decent, but when they get that chance, they're going to want to release Peñarada. They're going to want to release success and try to push that back for Barcelona. Yeah, and in fact, although Barcelona have posted a really good record at the Camp Nou this season, just dropping points on one occasion in the league to early goals. They considered the first goal against Espanyol in the can. Not quite, quite the technical attributes of many but winning the foul to the relief of the Croatian Messi to Neymar back to the Argentine he's looking for Jordi Alba who I think was ruled offside end. bright moment from Barcelona to go was look at the replay Alba is just about offside I think that just about a step he had the body offside but there is also does when he comes back mm. into the middle of the field does he's for Barcelona this season. Here's Leo Messi. Oh. Trying to play in Suarez. And Suarez gets in action there. Well, he's stuck in the middle, isn't he? He comes out thinking he can get there, but Suarez just dashed. About two months without picking up a win. But they picked up some important victories against the likes of Levante and Sevilla. And there's every chance they could avoid the drop again as Suarez leaves it for Arda Turan. It's his Messi and Barcelona lead. With just seven minutes gone, it's a first assist for Turan and Leo Messi getting his seventh league goal of the season. Well, it starts with Messi and it ends with Messi. The, the pass across the pitch, and Suarez leaves it. He actually uh, he dummies it right into the path of Arda Turan, and then there's Messi just making that dash. Just ooh, there's a question of offsides, isn't there? But the tap in was perfect. Yeah, well, Turan is only his second game for Barcelona but it looks like he's already fitting in to the team style very different style to of course what he's used to at Atletico Madrid but I think there's already an understanding between them I think so too and you know when you're when you've got quality players Barca an easy ride in that corner flag but it's still a goal kick and this is another look at the goal from a different angle look at the vision of Turan it just goes through the legs of the Granada defender and Messi just with a deft touch into that far corner it's through the legs of Uche a hapless Granada player midfielder and when it came to defending he didn't quite each other don't they it doesn't matter how long they've been together but Arda Turan he, he can provide that little bit yeah I think that shows a different up for for the the MSN doesn't there when they're into a game it seems like they just want everybody to get a shot on that right hand side over to Messi his name at the back post but he might go for taking on Uche Neymar over to Luis Suarez and he just got too much no he didn't it was exactly a perfectly weighted pass and Leo Messi has scored the second goal for Barcelona 2-0 up not yet 14 minutes gone two goals for Messi and it, you really you just teamwork on display right there isn't it it's what's we what we talked about they just want to share yeah. the goals they want to share everything and Luis Suarez could have very easily taken a chance as we look at the replay Neymar you can just see it's such a difficult thing to keep control of the ball and where, then where are the defenders though yeah. this three-man line is not working for Granada right no, now it's, it's leaving not. an awful amount of space for for this Barcelona team and they're just too talented for that and again we saw Uche being really passive as he was with the Turan pass to Messi but yeah just look at that one touch from from Suarez in fairness and now feel bad for doubting his passing ability but it was <laughs> Neymar will tell Jordi Alba to get yeah. back into his position yeah. and let him roam but back from Turan he's certainly been really involved in this game didn't have the most explosive all but certainly looking at home here well are we talking about uh, football wise or are we talking about Neymar oh, Messi that takes so seriously and it it's been on uh, Granada here today I could certainly feel it's back to Messi again. Kunas being turned upside down 
as Messi delighting the fans of the ball over to Neymar. It's just him and Neymar. Well, that would have been one for the for the highlight reel all season. Is that Messi just so smooth, so calm, heavy on the pass over the top for Neymar? Granada defender too. This comes to Messi. And Messi not able to get past Edgar Menes, but it's another corner for Barcelona, which just shows you how going. So to Messi. Have to work even more now. Is releasing Vidal. And Messi's in there. Oh, so nearly a hat trick goal for the Argentine. Turned away by Andrew. Come off much worse, but it, it's going to be a free kick to Granada. As we look at that chance, Messi, he's just got a bit of space in there. There's four Granada players, and none of them actually pick him up. There might be more down to do through his ability to break free rather than them. It's just forward so he knows that he's got to be the one who stays a little back guys like Arda guys like Ra Rakitic so when he can push up you see the quality that he can provide and Me finds Messi it's an option for Jordi Al Alba and Barcelona trying to attack quickly again as you see Granada, Granada have, have, have to make a choice we've seen a couple of occasions where Peñarada has the ball and Isak is the only one in the box. As Neymar releases Suarez and Messi so close to getting that third goal, but a great clearance there by... Great thing when you have this many stars on your squad. Yes. Suarez as Neymar and Messi rather like... And whereas, you know, Messi has been grabbing headlines around the world since he was 17 years old. So. And when you got five, four Ballon d'Ors in, in your closet, I think you can, you can, uh, you, you've got a lot of guys looking up to you. And yeah, that is sportsmanship, I think, right there. Doria had the ball, noticed that it was being played quickly and just tossed the ball into the... In towards Messi. Is this number three? He's going to play it back at two early goals from Leo Messi, giving the Catalans the advantage. But Ronaldo by no means out of it. They finished... The half strip. 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 The half the blame, all the all the culpability. The half strip. 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 And Neymar's shot comes off the post, and there is the hat-trick goal from Leo Messi. If Neymar doesn't get you, Messi will. Messi now on through, onto his ninth goal of the league season. He's managed to improve it. Messi can catch up with Suarez and Neymar, but look at that ball from Sergio Roberto. And Neymar doesn't score, but Messi does. And that's just the kind of day it's been. Beautiful dummy there from Arda Turan, and it comes off the post. There's three defenders in the six-yard box, and who does it fall to? Leo Messi. So it's just his day. It's Barcelona's day. And a uh, hat trick for Messi, which is well-deserved. And like you said, he is creeping back into that Pichichi race, isn't he? It was slowly but surely. And you're not seeing much of an option. Let's have one more look at that third Barcelona goal. Andres for a second looks relieved. Well, I think he thinks he's going in. He's gone off the post. Okay, let's have another look at that Barcelona goal. Such a great dummy, as you were saying, from Arda. Three goals. Uh, that one just fell into his lap. Didn't doesn't like the fact that uh, today. I think he's watching. Um, well, he's got a big game to prepare. I wouldn't know if he could watch in the game. Yeah, I would be tempted to say it might be too far for him to go for goal. And he goes straight into the wall. Face brights up again. Fetich with him, but uses Messi instead. And just look at these tiny passes. The ball barely going more than five yards. Barca players so close to each other, helping each other out. Out from the yeah. from the grada in the come now, isn't it? And just trying to soak up the pressure. They oh, stuck to his word, saying that he said would have to go for it. But those two goals by Messi made him reassess his options. In the second half, Dani Alves trying to make his mark on the game. Messi's already made his mark on this game. It's a very different life for the... Had a couple nice runs. He, he offered some, some nice support for the midfield, but it just wasn't enough. And Neymar with Adriano to the middle. Messi over to Luis Suarez. A chance for the Uruguayan. 
And again, that's Neymar. Back to Neymar. Well, Adriano, we used to say to Rakitic. Messi. And it was at Elche last season. Right? To Messi. Of course, with, with Bezen. Luis Suarez. Messi. And it was going. Messi and Alves. That old combination we've seen time and time again. He's on. Messi. Sergi Roberto, or Adriano rather with the touch. Messi. It was comprehensive, it was beautiful, like the Barcelona sky. Messi was, he was. Catalonia, Aloma Espanol, Mohanaka Bena Laibin, Argentinian, America Genovia, Wa Nushahid Messi Al Kaid Hilali at Sdid, Min Harid Jamantikat. الجزاء اذا احترام كبير لميسي قائد سمفونيه برشلونه وفريق الاحلام الجديد اذا عاليه وطبعا ترديد نشيد البارسا في مدرجات ملعب كامب نو الذي كانت غصت بالجماهير بجماهير برشلونه خاصه وميسي يحتفل بهذه الكره بعد تسجيله الثلاثيه في هذه المباراه عاد من بعيد بتسعة أهداف إذا بعدها كان بستة أهداف الآن أصبح بتسعة وبدأ ينافس المقدمة رونالدو وكذلك نيمار وأيضا سواريز الذي احتل المركز الأول بخمسة عشر هدفا